Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create these switch here that you can control with your mouse and set up the speed for the train. So let's go! So the first thing that we need is an interact interface. So right click blueprints, blueprint interface. This will be the interact interface. Open this up. This gets one function, so interact and it gets one input. This will be the player movement. The movement will be in vector 2D and it gets one output as well. This is the player focus. The player focus is just a vector. Compile and save this. So we are done here. Let's go to the third person character. So the basic one, nothing special here. And we need two more variables. The first one will be interaction. Interaction is in Boolean. And the second one is actor to interact. Actor to interact is just an actor, object reference. So let's start up with the left mouse button here. First of all, we get overlapping actors here, choose the actor, then we need a for each loop with break, like that. On release, we want to set the interacting to false, like that. Then we go from the array element and say, does implement interface. We choose our interact interface here Need a branch to ask, of course, connect it here. Then on a true case, of course, we want to set the actor to interact. This will be the array element like that. And at the end, we want to set the interacting to true. And then we just go back to the break. So this is on the mouse click here. Let's go with the tick event here. In this case, we take out our interacting Boolean here. We need a branch, of course, to ask again. Then we get the turn. We get the look up. And we want to make a vector 2D. Combine both of these. Then we take out our actor to interact here and we want to interact message. Of course, on the true case here, we connect the return value with the player movement like that. Then we get the player controller. We get the camera. So I already set up an, a third person and a first person camera, nothing special. So let's take out our first person camera, get the world location, get the control rotation here, find look at rotation, player focus will be the target here. Then we go from the get control rotation and say, R enter two. The return value goes into the target and the delta seconds of the event tick goes into the delta time, like that. And then we just go from the return value of the get player controller again and say set control rotation. And connect it, the return value goes into the new rotation. Then we set this Inter speed here to 15. And the last thing we have to do is we have our mouse input here. So let's put a branch here to ask, of course, on faults. We want when we interacting, not control. Great. Compile and save this. So we are done here. So let's go to the train from the last tutorials. And I already prepared this switch here. That's a free content pack from Unreal Engine itself. Link is in the description. 
So we have a static mesh, as you can see, just a switch here. So we have the handle as well. You can move around, as you can see. In my case, let's put this to minus 40. This is the default position. As well, we have a box collision to interact with, and we have a text render to show up the speed of the train. So let's go to the claw settings here. We have to add up the interact interface that we created, compound save this, and as well, we need a variable. This will be the handle rotation. The handle rotation gets a default value of minus 39 like that. So the default position of the handle here. Now we need a custom event. So add custom event. This will be flip switch. This gets an input. This will be a rotation as a float. We take out the handle rotation here, get it, and then we Pull this out and say float is over another float here. Put this to 40. As well, we do this float is below another float. Put this to minus 40. Then again, we go from the handle rotation, say float minus float. And connect the rotation here like that. We need, of course, a branch to ask in the first condition. From the false case, we need another branch here like that. This is the second condition. Then we want to set the handle rotation three times. So on the true case up here, this will be minus 31.5. And in the second situation, this will goes to plus 39.5. And the last thing is, again, we want to set the handle rotation on the false case down here to the return value up here. Then we take out our handle here, want to set the relative rotation in every situation like that. Right click, split structure pin, and the handle rotation goes into the Y case here. Then we go from the handle rotation again and say float plus float. Do this plus 40 here. Again, float defeated by another float. This goes to four. Then we take out our speed from the last tutorials here like that. Connect it. Then we want to round the value like that. Take out the text render here, want to set the text like that, connect it. The return value goes into the value here like this. We want to set the travel boolean to true. Great. So this is the whole function here. As well, I switched up the begin play. So the begin play just set the active path from the last tutorials. We have the drive function, the automatically drive, but in this case it doesn't matter because we just use the manual drive, but I still keep this function here where we set up the speed slowly to a value of 20. And then we have, of course, the event tick event where we check the travel branch from the last time, set the volume here and have this loop here where the train is moving along the spline. So just to show you, this is from the last parts. Great, so the last part is we go to the interfaces and we open up our interact. We have to fill this up as well. We go from the player movement and say break vector 2D. Then we call the flip switch function here, connect it. The Y goes into the rotation. We get the handle here, get socket location. This will be focus target. And the return value goes into the player focus like that. I just want to add one last thing. So let's go back to the event graph. 
unselect the box collision here, go for the begin overlap as well as the end overlap here. Of course we cost to our third person character in both cases like that. We take out the handle and I just want to set the material of the handle in both cases of course like that. Let's open up the handle here, select the material, go back to the train, put this down here as well as the shiny material, select it, put this up here, compile and save this. So let's see if this works. We hit play, go inside here, we go near to the handle, you can see it shines up, click on it, move it up and the train is driving. Great! So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah goodbye!